Good morning. My name is Betty Anderson. I am the Retirement Service Officer here at Redstone Arsenal. I'm located in Building 3494, Room 112. Today I have with me the Retirement Council. To my right, I have uh, Lieutenant Colonel Russell Brownfield. Hello. To my left, I have Sergeant Major Darnell Pell. Today, we will be talking about the Retirement Appreciation Day. I've been with the council for like 10 years, and uh, we were on our 51st annual Retirement Appreciation Day, and this is just where we like to give back to the retirees and show appreciation for all their service to the military uh, and the communities. So we try to do this through uh, the Retiree Appreciation Day events by honoring them. Just like uh, Sergeant Major Pell just mentioned, uh, it's 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 an opportunity to give back. Been in the military for quite some time, over 35 years, and really enjoyed my time uh, in the military. But uh, taking off the uniform and actually being a part of the retirement community is just as rewarding, if not more rewarding, only because of, and, and I say that, only because of the benefits and the uh, opportunity to actually participate in the uh, arsenal's activities and along with the RSO ensuring that uh, information gets out to our retirees and we're able to service them as much as we can during the uh, retirement appreciation day so it's 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 great it's wonderful and uh, we've got one coming up uh, here shortly on the 21st of October this year. Doing this event uh, if you come uh, social distance is preferred, but masks is optional. So once you come, if you feel that you want to wear your mask, you can do so. Retirement Appreciation Day is a culmination of all the things that have we've done over the course of the year to pull this all together. And how this typically starts is, is that Ms. Anderson is, as the Retirement Service Officer, pulls us all together in a room and we look at all of the things that retirees need for that particular day. So coming up on, on the 21st of October is we have the health fair, which includes the flu shots. We have legal who's going to uh, assist in wills or in time other preparation. We have the commissary and the PX that are going to be doing uh, various events. And then, of course, we have our briefing, uh, various briefings and, and speeches that are going on at the beginning of the day. We start that about 9 uh, until about 11 o'clock. During that period, you, the retiree, gets the information that is critical for you for the upcoming year. Uh, we have uh, the uh, Military Officers Association, that MOAA, that speaks uh, on the uh, legislation that's coming up. And it's a really informative period of time. On the 21st, uh, we will also provide uh, breakfast and lunch for the retirees. So make sure that you attend these meetings because it will have a lot of pertinent information for you and your family members. Information that have been updated throughout the years to make you more informative of what is happening within the, uh, the military retirement system. Now you're only right now today looking at three people that make up the MRC, but there are many more of us that make up the MRC and we meet quarterly to uh, look at all the things that we're doing. When I say all the things that we're doing, we look at the things that make up the uh, Retiree Appreciation Day. With that in mind, we're always looking for new members. So if you are interested in joining the uh, Military Retiree Council, there will be a application form in the bulletin that you receive uh, here shortly. Um, and you fill out that bulletin, uh, fill out that form, send it in, and we will add you to the email list and we will uh, make you a member of the council. It costs nothing to be a member and you can be a voice for the other retirees uh, in the community. So come on out on both the 20th and the 21st. And don't you forget, on the 20th, we will have legal, we will have the ID card section, and we will have the Army Finance PIN reset available for you.
On the 21st, we will have the benefit briefing along with the health fair. So make sure you come out to these events because we are looking forward to seeing you. As a soldier, you are a soldier for life. And you're going to always be a soldier forever. Soldier for life, soldier forever.